welcome to Board Game Empire. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing of Mountains Out of Molehills by the Op. Now, now this game takes 45 to 60 minutes. Jade is 9 plus and you can play it with 2 to 4 players. Okay, so today we're just doing the unboxing. We will be doing a playthrough review. Uh, so we're just looking at the components and the cards today. And so we're just going to jump right into the unboxing. It's about to sneeze. Almost. Okay. So this is a really cool. Uh, I think one of those ones where you can feel them. Yep, it is. Yep. The LP makes some great family games, and this yeah. is quite new. Um, I think it's out of their uh, wheelhouse and different than a lot of their other games, and so. Yeah, a lot of them are really simple. So this is a. Uh, Really cool design, and I think we're gonna enjoy it because it's yeah. different than any other game we played. So yeah, I like how our games are really simple because it doesn't take that long to learn, and it's easy to get to the table. Yeah. I like the cover, the little moles. Oh yeah, here let me show the. There's the side. Oh, that's cool. I think this right there, this one. Yep. Um, this one just shows uh, pretty much the information. Yep. And this is the last one. Yeah, that's so, pretty cool. So pr pretty cool illustrations. Um, yeah. Probably can make a cartoon or not, or a book or... It looks different from their usual style of game. Yeah. T-shirts for kids. Yeah. Enjoy the game. Guy. Yeah. So... Pretty light way we'll work looks like. Yeah, it's pretty small. So here we have the overview, meet the competitors. Ooh, points. I really like these. Yeah. Those Set are really up. cool. Gameplay. Card drafting, planning and movement. Gameplay. I hope that they, I hope they stick to each other. Planning yeah. and movement. Oh yeah, because we've, yeah. There's scored. one game that we played that was similar and like, well, none of the, like all the pieces were falling. Yeah. Well, this company is bigger, so yeah, I'm sure they got all that taken square. Uh, yeah. So here we have the board, and it is thick. I will say it is very thick. Wow. Wait, is it? Wait, can you open it? Ah, oh, just one layer. Oh, it looks like you did for a second almost. No, I'm guessing that's for because you're stacking them. Mm, yeah. I think that's the overground. The other one was the underground, not the overground, or yeah. above ground. Yeah. So you notice it says above ground right here. Yeah. Both of the scorn seats. I like when they had scorn seats. Mm. Let's see if they're double sided. I'm sure they are. Yeah. Yep. Oh, the last law plays. Okay, so. More plays well, than most people could probably ever get out of this game. So we have some uh, chips here. Or. Oh. Here we have the dice. And so it has uh, several movement dice information. And yep. okay. this is one thing that I'm really happy that a lot of companies are doing now, what? besides miniatures, is yeah. uh, these clear standees. Oh, yeah, I love those. I like standees more than miniatures. Yeah, well, especially when they come like this. Mm -hmm. This is like I think this will, because the miniatures, you, you, unless you color it, it really is not beneficial. And it's kind of hard to see what they are. They're just like, they're normally just gray or black. Yeah. So this really does uh, make it seem real loud. I really like that one. Yeah. Okay. And they all have their own little uh, color bomb. Oh yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, you have to be a really good artist to get value out of miniatures. Yeah. And you have to have the time. It's not just yeah. the, even if I, you are. Yeah, like we wouldn't even have the time if, if we were good artists. Yeah. So we have a whole bunch of cards there. Oh. Ooh, what's that? Here's Ooh, that. these are really cool. So these are the side. Obviously, you put them on the side. I really like hold. those. They're high quality. Yeah, they are. You notice they have little... Uh, 
Here's where you put it, I'm guessing, the top. One thing I like about the oh, the, the office of their components are pretty good, aren't they? Yeah, they, they're starting to have cool uh, trays and stuff. Yep. So here we have uh, yellow, red, green, and gray. Oh, we like those. Okay, let me make sure there's nothing underneath it. I have a tendency to... I don't think there is. You miss things? I would still check. Yeah. Ooh, maybe there is. Let's see. So it might be uh Ooh. No. Nothing? No, nothing. Alright. You just have to check sometimes because yep. I wish that they would uh put it on their um box. Yeah. yeah. State if if it's uh if it's underneath the yeah, because there's been times where we missed stuff in the box and we found out much later that was there. Yeah. But, all right. So now we're doing the cards and they are tiny. I'm guessing they're like, like almost one third or half the size of a standard card. It'd be kind of hard to sleeve them a little bit. I don't know. There's plenty of places that have sleeves for every type of card. Even the most tiny ones? But yep, even the tiniest of tiny. Okay, good. So here we have... Uh, the back. The back. All the same, looks like. I uh, do wish the quality was a little better with cards. Actually, no, they're pretty thick. Yeah, but just... Op does um, spin quality on their components. Yeah, it's actually really thick for a small card. I know. You think they'd be like super thin. So here we have just a whole bunch of ones, it looks like. And twos. Oops. And then twos. Uh, so. so it looks like they're. It looks like they have the arrow where it points. Yep, but all of them have the same arrow. Oops. Yeah. So two, three. Uh, oh, here we have different ones now. Yep, they're starting to become different, but not this up. So this one goes left. That one goes right. And the next one goes right, plus one. Left or right. Left or right. Uh, it looks like it goes up and then down. Yeah, uh, reverse. Yeah. Reverse plus one. Yep. It's a lot. I don't know what that yeah. means. Resources, probably. Yeah. Or um, placement of something to block. Oh, I'm yeah. guessing that's these. And then the mm. block is that. Okay. So that's everything included. Um, oh, I didn't notice this. If you look at the little box, it's like we're digging for dinosaur bones. <laughs> yeah. I know they can't see that, but it does look really cool. Or right here. Oh yeah, I can see that in the side of the box. Yeah, also here they have like a T-Rex fossil. Let's see. Uh, so like right here. Can you see that? Yeah. So it has like a little T-Rex. Yeah, I really love the attention to detail the off puts in their games. Yeah, they they are very good at pretty much uh, the theme of the game. Yeah. So, really excited about this game. I've uh, seen great reviews, and it's unique in, in itself. So, uh, anything you want to say? I like to say on how we've done many games for Yop. We've liked, we've liked, like, like all of them, and they've all been like really fun family games. They're definitely one of the best um family game companies, yeah. and they make so many. They have like hundreds of games they release. Yeah, they they have quite a bit of games, and um, I think they don't they release like almost a hundred every year. Uh, no, they probably I think they only have like thirty games total. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, it just seems like a lot because they have a lot of games, <laughs> mm -hmm. but. But they also work in partnership with other companies. I think that's what you're thinking about because when you yeah. look at BGG, they're partnered with a lot of companies. Yeah. And the and the development games. Yeah, and also on all the boxes, it says like the op on them yeah. at some point. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, social media is down below in the description. We'll have a link where to buy the game, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.